Hi, betting experts. On Tuesday, the 14th of July, first of all, look back at our two bets at Windsor on Monday. We move on to Bath on Tuesday. Very quick ground expected, good to firm, a sunny day, dry, so things are going to be quickening up all the time. It's all about speed at Bath. We start off in the 12 o'clock. This is the Eston Handicap, over five furlongs, class five for three-year-olds and up to ten runners, just under three and a half grand for the winner uh, it's attracted quite a competitive field of informed horses it looks all of four to one the field this morning the one i think has got leading claims is bluebell time of malcolm saunders well, this four-year-old filly has won one from 12. she's got an upwardly mobile profile she's been running really well since returning at chepstow with a narrow win on the nod on eased ground there winning a maiden with the front two three lengths clear of the rest. It was quite a taking performance. She did hang left inside the final furlong. That was more to do with the camber at Chepstow than anything else. So she went back there a week later into a handicap and finished a very fair third um, behind David's Beauty. And if you watch that run back, I suspect that David's Beauty rather stole the race up the centre of the course. Bluebell time showed loads of pace on the stand side um, and was just squeezed out close home, beating the length of the front four nearly four and a quarter lengths clear of the rest so it looks visually a good performance she's still improving she's already won run at bath before last season um, on five occasions no less and ran with credit each time particularly when second behind the useful irene may um, back in september um, off a mark of 58 there she's up to 63 now but joshua bryan's booked taking off three pounds which is very handy he knows her well. He was on board when she won at Chepstow, and I think she'll go well. She is drawn 10 of 10, um, but hopefully she'll be quickly away out the stalls and be able to nearly lead this field and make all the running. The main danger could come from Spur of the moment, who comes here in terrific form for Charlie Hills. He's She, rather, is drawn low in stall three and has been running well under similar conditions, sure to give her running again. But Bluebell time for me might just have a little bit more upside and at the prices she is preferred. For our nap of the day, we go to the 12.30. This is the Human League Live at Bath, maiden auction stakes. Over five furlongs, 160 yards, a class five for two-year-olds and only. £3,493 on offer to the winner. 11 runners. Most of them will be seen to better effect in handicaps like Batten and Wright Proud, probably at a low level. Hotelina down the bottom are all going to struggle in maiden company. And I do think that Clive Cox's Bright are more set to high standard on form. Now, first of all, Cox is in terrific form. He's had nine winners from 36 runners in the last fortnight, a 25% strike rate. And this one has shaped with promise on both occasions. Starting off at Newmarket, behind the useful eye of heaven uh, beaten five uh, it's just six lengths there in eighth shaping nicely under a considerate ride and then at Doncaster last time win a well back five to two favourite finishing fourth behind you better believe it under Kirby who's up again this afternoon if you watch that run back Brightermore got very restless in the stalls before the race showed bright pace uh, ridden along a furling out and just tired in the final 100 yards when snatching up and losing a couple of lengths I thought in the process this fast five furlings will definitely suit he's all speed and this looks a great opportunity to make all the running and put his experience to good use best of luck on tuesday betting experts